Man, it was a beautiful chilly day. And we have everything pretty much done. Well, more fuss, of course. Uh, they really got into it over the weekend. We're picking that up for a month. But uh, anyways, went through. Everybody's got fresh, clean water. It's evening time. Uh, the hoses got unthawed, finally. And, you know, so what we did was busted the ice out, cleaned all the fresh water like we normally do earlier. Uh, but I t took this off. It slopes downhill this way. So um, they're helping. They're helping. They're such good little helpers. I love them. This is Bodie. He's telling me all about it because they're out. So what we did was I drained all the hoses just uh, in case it freezes, you know. Uh, this one's still got ice in it. And so I draped it so it'll drain both ways. And uh, I took all of them off. Uh, that one's frozen, but I, I was using the blue one because the yellow one didn't work and everything and so yeah it's all draining like it's supposed to and uh hopefully uh tomorrow will be a lot better it's going to be warmer uh see how the bees did with their sugar water oh man we've been running all day but i'll show you where the pollen pack is uh if i dare okay the sugar water they barely got. They barely got. I gave that really good. Let's see in here. Oh my God! There's a spitter. See the that dripping stuff? That's the pollen pack, and it was it's big, so it uh it uh they've been eating it, and so but anyways they did have some of the sugar water, but not much because they're all in there trying to keep warm. It really got cold. Uh, but when it gets above i think 50 something like that 40 they start coming out 50 and when the sunlight hits them it kind of warms up their hive and uh you know so there's so much extra work here during the winter time and little guys eat a ton of food keeping their little engines warm going in and out running around keep them warm and having a good time we have to keep the house faucets and the well faucets on drip and then we use a uh, heat lamp in the um in the well house you know uh to keep it warm so that light is going to go until it burns out you know keeping it all in there for the well and uh if the wind came up we got to fix the pipe first the dogs are trying to eat the house and then the, the Wind came up and ate the pipe, buddy. The wind ate the pipe. But, yeah. They're about ready to go up. And then at 4, 4.30, right before, about an hour before dark, Marcel comes in. And the little guys discovered a bed I had on the front porch. And we have green, a blended fuzz. But let's see. This... See, we keep this in here. This uh, well house was falling in. and So Real Madrid donated 500 bucks and we built a well house. That's the old well. And uh, it's nice and warm in here. And that keeps everything toasty when it gets down. Yeah, we have those when it gets down. Uh, I would like to get it insulated, but that's as far as we got before we had to do this, that, and the other thing. One day, we'll get a bunch of money, and I'll be able to get this place all fixed up like I want. You know, like what we did out there at Saving Pet. When I took it out of, out of the gutter, I made it a botanic garden and animal sanctuary. Built the Maxine Palmer Vet Clinic. Turned this whole cattery. Uh, oh, it was awful. Uh, the ammonia smelled. And I had this headache at 3 o'clock. There were 60 cats in this old bar. So anyways, we got that all fixed up and I turned it into a, a place called Cattery Row, a theme of Cannery Row. It was a Hemingway Steinbeck theme. It was really cool. Man. Yeah, what?
Whoa. So anyway, oh, 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 everybody's doing good. See, there's the neighbor and their beautiful little standard poodle pulling in. It's a wonderful dog. Every time, you know, they're just such good folks. Anyways, that's what's going on. So I'm getting ready to call it a day. It's about three something. Uh, it's nice and warm now, so the ice and the other two hoses should, uh, you know, unfreeze and we'll be able to do it. Right, buddy? You, yeah, did you like helping me with the hoses? You did. You did. What do you think? <laughs> Anyways, so Grandpa Tree's almost asleep. And, God, it smells good having the little fireplace going. The cats just are mesmerized by it. So am I. I'm like, move over. I want to look. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's really peaceful here tonight. Now that they're not, they were over there helping me with uh, unfreezing the hose and doing the water buckets and stuff. So they uh, have fresh water. And then like when it's, in, like if it's frozen in the morning, like I whoa, used to do my horse's troughs, we'd go out there and we'd bust them, bust through, you know, bust them up and they'd, they'd uh, do that. And Mona loved that. And I'd bust out the chickens, you know, water, make sure that they had fresh water. That's the thing, you know, during the winter time, a lot of dogs die of dehydration because their waters are frozen or they can't get fresh water. Same with people hiking and stuff out in the middle of nowhere uh, because their body uses so much energy to melt the water to drink if they start doing the ice. I do ice for the cats in the back room because Barney... He likes to play in it, but if I put ice in there, he doesn't play so much. He'll splash it out. It's one of them. Beautiful cat. Well, that's it for me for the day. I am um, off. Uh, went to a beautiful uh, AA meeting today, and uh, life is good in recovery. And hopefully, uh, one day at a time, you know, we just you know stay sober, help others, and do the best we can. Anyways. I'm off to do other stuff. But yeah, we really need those donations. We could use cat food. Uh, you know, we have dog food. Oh, we, we got a lot of really nice people sent some dog food. Thank you, Jody and Mr. Majors and everybody. But we could use the treats. I think uh, somebody, uh, the lady that uh, brought us uh, uh, McGee was wondering what kind of uh, chew bones we need. Well, they like the milk bones, but they also like for the ones in the barn and uh, everywhere else, you know, um, to uh, uh, last all night, you know, some kind of a big bone, a rawhide bone, or something like that. Anyways, I'm off to uh, do something else. <laughs> it's been a really good day, man. I tell you, it smells great out here with that fireplace going. Thank you all. Love for all. Woo-woo. I'm off to help the animals. Bye.